hey what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today again i'm back with my flutter video so in this video we will talk about bottom sheets because uh, one of two of you guys told me to make a video on uh, the bottom sheet which is a part of material design and this is ex actually a quite uh, interesting widget we are going to talk about and the thing is that uh, some of uh, uh, my videos are actually on the basis of like uh, what what is important to show you and some of your choice so you can always comment me your choices and i'll make the videos on that also so let's start with the bottom sheet so uh, this is the dummy project you can say on uh, this project does not have anything just uh, two buttons as you can see and both are disabled so you cannot click on them and why this is happening because of uh, here you can see in this k fold there is a uh, app bar there is an app bar and uh, there is a body which is starts with a padding and then we have a, a center column with the uh, three uh, three items like uh, two are the raised button and uh, in between them there is a padding okay so you can see that on the on pressed the, uh, we have defined it as a null so that it, it is disabled as of now and uh, both the uh, ios and android are running on the right hand side so we will deploy on both on the, uh, both of them so uh, let's start with uh, writing some code how we can start with the bottom sheet so guys basically there are two kinds of bottom sheet first one is persistent for that uh, we have this first button and the another one is model and for that we have the second button so there is a difference between a persistent bottom sheet and the model bottom sheet so persistent bottom sheet is kind of like you can say that this is a, a secondary uh, like if, if you if your app has or if your screen has some primary content then you can show on the normal page but if you want to show some secondary content then you can use persistent bottom sheet which is kind of uh, similar to any navigation page but uh, there is a difference that uh, the uh, the current page is uh, overlapped by the bottom sheet and uh, th this you can understand when I will explain this by uh, writing the code and another one is bottom model bottom sheet which is kind of a pop-up or you can say uh, which is used for a menu and uh, you can click wherever you want and this uh, will dismiss the model bottom sheet so there is a big difference between persistent model is that you can interact with the screen as well as bottom sheet if you are using persistent bottom sheet but if you are using model bottom sheet then you can interact with only one either the screen or normal screen which you are using the normal page which you are using or the bottom or uh, the model page okay so let's start by uh, writing some code then uh, don't worry if you are not understanding it as of now but you will understand it so uh, what i will do let's uh, go to this class first of all and uh, let's make a scaffold key so we can say scaffold scaffold key and i can say new global key okay and here i can write in the uh, generic area scaffold state okay it will give me a scaffold key so what i will do whatever uh, wherever i have defined my scaffold which is here i can give it a key so that i can access it somewhere else so i can say scaffold key okay and let's just uh, uh, write a question mark oh the, the, this underscore as well because it's a good practice to make it a private because we are not going to use outside of this class so we have this scaffold key as of now okay what we want to do we want to do this uh, persistent model sheet when we click on this raised button okay so let's uh, do something let's have a init state first of all and here in this init state we are going to make a so first of all a callback so we can call uh, we can say it void callback and we can name it as a uh, show bottom sheet pers okay persistent for pers for persistent okay so or you can say this uh, this uh, show pers bottom sheet okay this is uh, much better and we can say callback okay so it's a big name but it's uh, i guess it's fine okay so this is uh, we are saying that show bo pulse bottom sheet callback and uh, 
we are saying here show but pers persistent bottom sheet callback is equal to show bottom sheet okay so this is a uh, method which we are going to make so in uh, below that we will make a void method show bottom sheet so why i am doing this you must be wondering so let me just explain after writing this okay so what i want to do so basically when you use this persistent bottle sheet then what what happens is that you can click on this screen which is the current screen as well as the persistent screen all together so there can be some problems with that so like if i press this button then the bottom sheet will appear then if i again press this button then then there can be some issues right so i don't want to press this button if the bottom sheet is still visible so that is why what i have taken i have taken this variable or uh, this object show bottom persistent uh, show pers bottom sheet callback it is kind of uh, annoying name i know and we have uh, in the init state we have we are saying that this is equal to this show bottom sheet uh, method and which is this method and here in this method what we will say we will say set state okay so what does it mean it is it will say here that our show pers bottom sheet callback is equal to null which means whenever we will show, show this uh, bottom sheet then it should be equal to null so that it is not clickable so if you have seen like this so it is on pressed is equal to uh, when it is null so we are not able to click it which means it is disabled so we will disable it this this way okay after that what we can do we can say uh, scaffold key dot current state okay and then if i will write dot then it will give me a method show bottom sheet okay here i can give the context okay pass the context as a parameter and then i can write my code for bottom sheet okay and it will be any generic code like how, or however you write so i can say return new container so like you uh, like you uh, do coding for a normal view you can do the same thing here you don't have to you know explicitly do anything so i will say uh, this uh, return new container okay and uh, i should not write this okay so this is fine and in this container let's say we have a color okay so we can say color start green accent maybe okay and it has a child let's say and uh, we can say new center and again it has a child new text and we can say hi bottom sheet okay so this is what we have uh, this is a new container with a, a bottom shift and that's it and if when uh, we are closing this here then we can say dot closed closed is a basically that you can see uh, like completes when the feature uh, controlled by this object is no longer visible so when it is not longer visible then we can say close dot when complete so when the process will complete it we want to do something right so we can write here um, we will make a callback here and here we can write take one second here we can say if mounted so what is this mounted uh, i'll explain that as well so if we see what is mounted then you can see that whether this state object is currently in tree or not if it is in tree then what we want to do if it is true then we will call the set state which means the re, uh, rebuilding the widget okay so we are saying rebuild the widget and we will say show bottom sheet callback is equal to show bottom sheet okay so uh, bottom sheet it should work why it is not working sheet okay so this is uh, done so what it, we are doing like if it is mounted that means the um, the uh, whether this state object is currently in a tree so the state object is currently in a tree that means our bottom sheet is not visible as of now and then we can 
uh, they we can do the same thing which we did in init state okay so that's it so now uh, in the on uh, this on pressed of this raised button we will call the so persistent sheet callback okay what it will do when the active uh, this uh, is uh, this uh, uh, class will start it, it starts with the init state so it will check here it will assign this show bottom sheet it will go to this method and blah 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 okay when i will click on this button okay so let's just uh, do one thing let's just restart it once and let's see what happens so first of all we will do it for android and then we will check it for ios when we will have both the bottom sheets for one one is the persistent one and second one is the model one so i will just explain the difference between those uh, after two minutes maybe so when we will have both the cases so you will be able to understand in a much better way when you will have the practical implementation in front of your eyes so that is actually something which you know oh sorry so this is taking a time because our uh, this uh, device has been changed so let's choose the correct one so this is the problem with this i guess sometimes it automatically changes the device i don't know why so maybe this is a vs code bug okay let's just grab it oh it is taking again some time because it is happening for the first time so we have this thing ready now and uh, see this uh, button is now enabled because we have changed it it's uh, on uh, pressed uh, to the, the we have assigned the uh, method to this on pressed property and now if i click on it you can see the bottom sheet okay the thing is that uh, now if i will just drag it downside you can see i can disable this bottom sheet and still the uh, the uh, the item is available the back screen is available and it also give me this navigation option here which is quite useful but you, you must be wondering why i was saying that uh, if this screen will come the uh, i i can be i i am able to you know click on the button because if let's say let's go back here and let's give it a height as well okay because you every time you don't want the bottom sheet to be exactly of the full height so let's give it a height of 300 and let's uh, perform a full restart and now if i will click on it you can see that this is of this height and i can i could still press on this button this persistent button if i have not uh, made it null so let's just uh, uh, let's say let's just uh, yeah let us uh, comment that code and let if i will see now if i will click here then you can see i can still click here and it will give again the bottom sheet again and again whenever i will click here so i don't want that that is why i have written this line of code so this is our uh, like uh, there is a thing like uh, if uh, uh, this this uh, this part of uh, the a uh, normal screen is still clickable and everything will work so this is the case with the persistent bottom uh, sheet but in bot model bottom sheet this does not happen so let's see what kind of bottom sheet are that so let's uh, also just uh, disable it so now what we will do we will make another method here or we don't actually have to make the method we can directly call show model bottom sheet but not from here so what we will do uh, let's do one thing um, let's actually call the method show uh, wait a second we cannot uh, call the method outside I guess yeah we are outside of this so uh, that's not the same okay so what now uh, we have to we can uh, make another method here below that and we can say void show model sheet let's write this as this okay so inside this method what we will do we can call directly show model bottom sheet okay we don't need any scaffold key or something and it takes few parameter as well first of all it takes the context we will pass the context because we have the context and another thing is that 
uh, it takes a builder which let's say which is a builder okay and here what we can do we can uh, just copy and paste the above code and it should work so let's just uh, just copy this piece of code which we want to show and that's it so let's just remove its height as well and uh, we can write here high model sheet right so that's it so for model sheet that is the case you don't have to do much about of uh, apart from that and here we can call show model sheet okay so let's do one thing now uh, now let's just uh, restart the app. oh and let's just click on this model and here you can see we don't have the navigation icon now right we don't have that navigation icon and if i will click outside then it will just uh, uh, just uh, you know scroll that uh, bottom sheet to the uh, to the zero point uh, zero position like uh, it will just disable that or you can see that animation and if i will just drag it also then it will just disable it and you cannot click anywhere else in the case of model sheet and it acts as a menu here you can uh, in the in the um, the area which is the container area you can do anything you want and uh, now let's click on this persistent one and here you can you know if i am selecting this piece of area then also this bottom sheet is not affecting and there is a navigation page as well and the navigation button sorry and now if i will just uh, drag it then it it works so that is the difference and now let's uh, uh, run this in the iPhone simulator as well so we will see what how it behaves there so let's just run it and let's see how it works so that is all about bottom sheet you don't have to do many things about it and it's kind of easy so in the uh, iPhone let's click on this and here you can see it has the navigation button as well and for the model it also uh, you know dims the background if you see in the case of model bottom sheet but in the case of persistent one it does not do that so that is the uh, difference between persistent and model i hope i was uh, able to explain that and that's it guys so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did then please uh, like the video and if you didn't then you can dislike the video but also subscribe to the channel if you're not the subscriber and also you can suggest uh, any topic if you want me to cover that maybe not uh, you know in one or two day i won't be able to cover that but so as soon as possible i will cover that after finishing all the remaining stuffs so definitely uh, click on the subscribe button click on the bell icon and that's it that's uh, all fair so thank you guys uh, thanks for watching and i'll see in the next video bye bye take care